Hello, this is Stephanie Pressman with Red Carpet Report in Hollywood for the Film Independent Spirit Award nominations. What a fun morning. Oh good, I'm, I had a great time. So what makes the Spirit Awards so different than everything else the rest of the award season? Well, it's a very unique show. We, um, you know, we're celebrating the best in independent cinema for the last year. So it's really, it's artist-driven filmmaking. It tends to be films made on a lower budget, but films with a really distinct uh, voice behind it, each of the films. And I feel that we have that in spades this year. It's an incredibly strong lineup of films. Um, another thing that's distinct about the Spirit Awards is that we have categories like Best First Feature, Best First Screenplay, the John Cassavetes Awards. We, this is a, a celebration, it's a discovery of new talent, as well as people who've been working in independent film for years. So this year we have 41 of the nominees, our past nominees or winners. Going to the Coen Brothers, nominated this year for Inside Lewin Davis. They've been nominated in many past years, going all the way back to 1986, which was the first year of the Spirit Awards. So it's, it's so gratifying to see these people coming back, but then also people like Lake Bell and, and the people in, in best, you know, best First Feature and Best First Screenplay, who are really the new talents to look out for. So. Independent film seems to have changed a lot with technology in the last 10 years. What do you foresee, how do you foresee that changing um, the Spirit Awards. The way I foresee technology changing the Spirit Awards as we move forward is a lot more discovery. People often, not in Los Angeles or New York, who have the means to make uh, their own stories, to, to make compelling films, um, but where you've never heard of them. They're just truly coming out of, out of nowhere, you know, in, in terms of the industry. That's what I think is really exciting. Technology puts, puts the means in the hands of everyone to go out and make compelling. If you have a good script, if you can get together a good cast and crew, you can, you can really make an incredible film without being part of, you know, the, the, the Hollywood machine. So I think that's what you're going to see a lot more of. Were there any films that you were surprised didn't get nominated? Um, no. I, uh, you know, it was a very, very strong year, and there were a lot of other good films that weren't nominated, but I can't say I was surprised. I think the lineup that we have this year is, is just remarkable. So... Um, there were there were films, of course, that other um, there were many other beautifully made films that didn't make it this year. But it's it's a very selective process, and the and the nominating committees, you know, made that made their choices. Now the Oscars have announced that they've added casting this year as a new category. Do you think that the Spirit Awards will add that anytime soon in the future? I uh, can't speak to when we might add other categories. This year we added Best Editing, which is our first new category in many years. Uh, award shows tend to move slowly when it comes to adding or subtracting categories. You know, you want stability over time so that the, the award shows, you know, aren't changing every year. Um, but this year we chose to add Best Editing, which I'm very, very excited about. It's such a critical craft. It's an essential part of the filmmaking process. So we're very happy to have editing. And we do, we give out the Robert Altman Award, which is also given to uh, the casting director. So for this year, it's for uh, Francie Maisler and Mudd. Okay, well, great. Thank you so much. And Thank we look you. forward to the Spirit Awards. Great. If you liked this video, click like. If you want to see more videos like this, click subscribe. And don't forget to leave a comment in the comment box below, letting us know what your favorite independent film was this year. I have so many I still have to see, so I'm going to rush back and go watch Dallas Buyers Club because I love me some Jared Leto. See you guys later.